Have you ever wondered where stars like the sun come from? Astronomers claim that there was just this accretion disk, there was some like gravity, so it caused the swirling and a center of mass, and then gravity equals heat? That's ridiculous! Where would the stuff come from in the first place? That's stupid. No, no, I'm here to tell you that the Earth was here before the sun. No one can really argue that the Earth comes from a potato. They wouldn't know how to. They can't deal with me. They give up after me saying like, Oh, the Earth is flat, it's made from a potato, icebergs are potatoes, mountains are potatoes. No, but here's what I'm here to tell you. The sun is also a potato. I know what you're thinking. The sun is hot, right? And for the most part, potatoes don't generate their own heat till they are really, really big, like planet size. Thing is, the sun isn't that much bigger than Jupiter. So, where does the sun get all of its heat? Well, we know what happens if a potato gets really upset. It starts stress eating. This is what you call wackle. Well, what happens if a potato is overly happy? So picture this, okay? The Earth was just forming. Potatoes were everywhere in the galaxy, you know? Well, one of the potatoes was really, really, really excited because it had just gotten big enough to be Jupiter sized. Well, this potato was encouraging another potato. That potato was so happy that it just exploded with happiness. This is why one day. The sun is just going to be so happy that it's going to start laughing. This is what you call a red giant. Well, eventually it's going to laugh itself to death. And this is where it gets sad. So one day, our quote-unquote sun is going to die. This is because eventually it just laughs way too hard. And then it's not quite over for this potato. It's still pretty big, but it's not as big as it once was. So, it becomes what we call a white dwarf. But, there's still hope. See, once this one became like its own happiness, other potatoes saw the same thing. But, they were jealous of our potato. So, they moved way, way far away, like at least 1,400 light years, or should we say light potatoes, um, these stars became their own thing. This is how we got other stars. This is why the universe is so, so big. More and more potatoes are becoming happier and happier and happier. So we get new stars. Until they get way too happy or way too stressed out. And neutron stars or neutron potatoes are for a different day. But this is Greenfire Striker X saluting you as he signs out.